In boxing, many fighters get credited or discredited for the amount of courage they have, for their level of bravado. Fans say they aren't willing to take on tough challenges, or they may even be scared of another man. But one man who's proven to have courage in and outside of the ring is Jamel Herring. Jamel Herring was born on October 30th, 1985 in Rockville Center, Long Island, New York. Herring's childhood was tough and filled with hardship. When Herring was four years old, for private reasons, the police raided his mother's home and Child Protective Services took Herring and put him into a foster home. Herring was originally put with family for a few weeks and was joined by his brother. They were treated well before being moved to a new family, the Cruz family, who lived close to Herring's mother, making it easier for them to see each other. Herring claims that the Cruz family treated him and his siblings very well, just like his previous temporary family. Herring was in foster care for 18 months before his mother regained custody. Foster care played a crucial role in Herring's younger years. Herring began boxing training at age 15. He decided to enroll in the United States Marine Corps in October of 2003 when he was 18 years old. For a period of time, Herring was fighting and serving his country simultaneously. Herring was fighting in amateur tournaments before being deployed in 2007 to Al Taqwadum. After his return, he went back to the All Marine Corps in North Carolina. Herring continued fighting and won a silver medal at the 2010 World Military Games and the gold medal in each of the 2011 and 2012 Armed Forces Championships. In 2012, Herring would dominate the Olympic trials, winning gold. After having success in multiple more amateur tournaments, Herring would compete in the America's trials, winning a bronze medal, earning a shot in the Olympic Games. Herring made history as the first active duty United States Marine to compete at the London Olympics and the first active duty Marine to qualify for the US boxing team since 1992. Herring didn't medal in the Olympics, but put up a good showing. After returning home, Herring decided to finish his service at the Marine Corps and then become a professional boxer. Herring had accomplished much. He served two tours of duty in Iraq and earned the rank of sergeant, all while being an accomplished amateur boxing on his way to a successful career. Herring moved from North Carolina to Cincinnati, Ohio with the tutelage of Mike Stafford. In the same month, he got signed by Al Heyman. Herring made his pro debut on December 8, 2012 in Anaheim, California, taking on 3-2 and two Jose Valderrama. Herring dominated and won by unanimous decision. Within three years, Herring built up a solid record of 14 wins, 0 losses, and 0 draws with 8 wins coming by way of knockout before headlining his first event, taking on Colombian Luis Eduardo Flores. Herring dominated, dropping Flores twice and winning every round en route to a unanimous decision victory. Herring returned 5 months later, headlining once again, facing his first real test in Russia's Denis Shafikov. Shafikov started strong, dropping Herring early. Jamel struggled all night with Shafikov's consistent pressure and power and got stopped late in round 10. Herring returned 7 months later and dominated Art Hovhannisian before making him quit in 3 rounds. Herring returned 6 months after that, taking on prospect Ladarius Miller. Herring was outclassed by Miller and lost by unanimous decision. Herring has lost 2 of his last 3 fights. Herring knew that his career was in jeopardy and he needed a revival. He returned 9 months later after his defeat versus Miller to take on Mexico's Juan Pablo Sanchez. For this fight, Herring has switched promotional companies, leaving the PBC for top rank and he has switched trainers, leaving Mike Stafford for Brian McIntyre, also known as Bomac. Herring dominated Sanchez and looked rehabilitated as a fighter, stopping him in 5 rounds. Jamel returned 4 months later, taking on 20-1 John Vincent Moralde. Herring performed well once again, shutting out Moralde and winning a very wide unanimous decision victory. Herring stayed active, returning 3 months later and winning a dominant decision once again this time against Adelson Dos Santos. Herring has never had a true title shot, but finally the wait is over. Herring has been offered and is now set to face WBO Super Featherweight Champion, Japan's Masayuki Ito, for May 25th of 2019 in Kissimmee, Florida. Herring was the underdog against the reigning Ito, but that didn't discourage him. The fight was back and forth early, but Herring's jab was effective throughout. Herring used his superior fundamentals and metrics, along with his desire to become a world champion, to put on a world-class performance. Ito was game and didn't give in fully, but he was the inferior fighter that night. After 12 rounds, we go to the scorecards. Two judges had the bout scored 118 to 110, and the final judge had it 116 to 112. For your winner, by unanimous decision victory, and the new WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Jamel Semperfi Herring. Herring is coming off of a career victory, and he wastes no time after becoming a champion, returning five months later to make his first defense of his title, taking on undefeated contender Lamont Roach. Herring started strong once again, his jab was consistent, his reach was being used well, and he was frustrating Roach. 
Lamont had good power and was keeping Herring honest and having moments, but Herring put on another consistent performance and was awarded the unanimous decision victory. In November of 2019, Irish fighter Carl Frampton put on a statement, dominating prospect Tyler McCreary. After the fight, he called out Jamel Herring, who was in attendance, and all signs were pointing to this fight happening next. It was set, but it was canceled because of illness going around. They had to postpone the fight, and Top Rank wanted this fight to have somewhat of a crowd, so they both took tune-ups, installing for crowds to come back. And on September 5th, 2020, Herring took on Puerto Rico's Jonathan Aquendo. Herring took control early and dropped Aquendo in round three, but he didn't look like himself. He wasn't as sharp, and he didn't look as hungry. He was racking up rounds, but was having issues with Aquendo's tough tactics and inside fighting. In round eight, Aquendo headbutted Herring. This wasn't the first headbutt of the fight that Herring received, and Herring's eye was badly cut to the point where it affected his vision. Because of the constant fouling, referee Tony Weeks decided to disqualify Aquendo, giving Herring the victory. But the champ faced scrutiny from fans, media, and analysts, with many claiming he quit. Herring stated after the fight that he was contemplating retirement, but thankfully for fans, he didn't go through with it. After lots of anticipation, a fight with Carl Frampton was finally set for April 3rd in Dubai. Many were picking Frampton to pull off the victory, especially because his style was somewhat similar to Aquendo's and he was a much better fighter than the Puerto Rican. Herring started the fight strong, using the jab, but this time throwing with more conviction. Frampton was determined to get onto the inside and have success, but Herring was not making it easy. After three rounds, Herring was dominating Frampton. Frampton did have a good round four, but was still down wide on the cards. He was executing his game plan to an extent, but he was getting hit big shots in the process. In round 5, there was a headbutt that caused nearly the same cut as his fight against Jonathan Aquendo when he was cut last time out. He resorted to holding in his last fight and was fighting much more timidly with this cut. But this time, with this new cut he had, it woke him up and he shocked many by dropping Frampton in round 5. Frampton got up but was badly shaken up. He survived the round but was in loads of trouble. In round 6, Herring hit Frampton with a monster uppercut that put the Irishman on the canvas. Frampton survived before getting hit by a barrage of shots before his corner threw in the towel. Herring has had a career-defining performance, looking the best he's ever looked. Herring returned six months later, unifying with Olympic silver medalist and rising star Shakur Stevenson, getting stopped late and then losing a competitive decision months later to Jermaine Ortiz before announcing his retirement. Jamel Herring ended his boxing career the same way he ended his military career, respected by others around him. Even with all the adversity of his life, his loss of his daughter, his PTSD from the Marines, being taken away from his mother temporarily, he persevered. He was a fan favorite, a great role model, and a true champion in and outside of the ring.